Good morning, everyone, graduating students, family members, and friends. My name is Richard Kurth, and I serve as director of the School of Music. Welcome to this assembly to celebrate all of today's music graduates, including those who are not here, and to enjoy one more opportunity for sharing friendship here in the Roy Barnett uh, Recital Hall, the heart of the School of Music, before the new alumni receive their diplomas in the Chan Center this afternoon, and then journey forward into the future. Although none of us can read the crystal ball, the invisible crystal ball, I know that each and every graduating student will find numerous ways to make music brighten their own life and to warm the hearts of others. Each career will unfold in different places and different paces, and music of all kinds will animate all your lives, creating an amazing collective polyphonic symphony. Today's events have special meaning for me as I step down on June 30th after serving as director of the school for 10 years. In that sense, I'm also graduating today along with all of you. It's taken me just a little longer to reach this day. This will also be the 10th and last time that I read the names of graduating students as they walk across the stage. It's a very simple thing. It's just a few syllables in every case but it's also deeply meaningful and a real honor. I do it on behalf of your parents, who gave you your names, uh, and who will be experiencing at least as many emotions as you on this important day. I'm a parent, you can just see that, what it means to me as well. Actually, all the important days are behind you and also ahead of you. Today is a unique day, a sort of moment of pause between the hard work and the accomplishments behind you and the opportunities ahead of you. Today we stop briefly to listen in a different way and to contemplate how lucky we are to be here together as participants in something much bigger and more resonant than ourselves. I'm very happy that we are here together and I welcome all of you to this unique and beautiful day. As you can see from the program on the screen, I'm going to take this occasion to share a few of my own reflections with you I suppose that might feel a little bit like your last lecture, uh, but I assure you there'll be no exam, and uh, the parents who are here will see a little bit what it's like in class here. Um, and then I'm looking forward to a conversation with friend, faculty member, and alumnus, Sharman King, who graduated from the School of Music in 1970, when this building was only two years old. Sharman has been, or has had, uh, and has built an extraordinary career, and I learned something from him in every conversation. So I thank him for joining us today to share his memories and also his wisdom about a life in music. After our conversation, I will uh, announce several graduation prizes, and then uh, if enough of us are here, I hope we can do a, a short welcome video for the class of 22, uh, 2022, so that they have a sense of uh, what it's like to be here at the school. I'm going to put that um, uh, slideshow back on the screen for a few minutes while I speak to you because these are photographs of events of the last few years um, and events that all of you have participated in in some way and I hope they bring happy memories of collaboration and um, great music. The events of graduation day and the many conversations and encounters are my favorite expression of our sense of community and common purpose. As a faculty member and as director of the School of Music, Graduation Day is an annual opportunity to reflect on our purpose. I'd now like to share with you some of, my idea, some of the ideas that sustain me and that I believe characterize the community we form and the larger aspirations we share. I hope these thoughts might deepen our sense of mutual purpose and reinforce our sense of lasting and vibrant community. This is a joyous occasion and also a multifaceted one for all of us. On graduation day, we look to the future with a mixture of confidence and anticipation. The spirit of the occasion is energized by a complex mixture of feelings. The most important ones being celebration and trust. We celebrate what you have achieved so far through your energy, your enthusiasm and your initiative and we also trust in the promise that the future holds for you, which will be revealed as you stride forward on an unforeseeable path that is yours alone. 
Let's contemplate for a moment the growth you have experienced during your years here. You have been powered forward by your ambitions. You have been held back occasionally by challenges or uncertainty. You have discovered fresh, fresh motivation and you have been guided by your mentors. You have developed magically before our eyes and ears, but the truth is that in some fundamental ways, you were the same person you were when you arrived. If anything, your fundamental identity is becoming progressively more evident and manifest to yourself and others. You have come here to discover knowledge and you have also been discovering yourself, augmenting and refining your identity and your character in response to your experiences. The truth is that many new insights and new abilities that you have acquired will become part of your identity and destiny only when you share them, when your actions make other re others recognize and support the values that inspire you. In short, when you act out of conviction while performing or teaching or listening or in every other interaction you share with others, that is when your character and identity blaze forth and you are the person that you want to be. You have all overcome many challenges to reach this day. Some of you have prevailed against real difficulty, tough obstacles that life has thrown your way, sometimes thrown at you by others, sometimes by yourself. To those who have overcome failure and have reached success, I salute you in particular. You have become stronger and more resilient, better prepared for the future. Life will give us all a measure of failure. And if you haven't learned this yet, rest assured that your patience will eventually be rewarded. But failure and adversity are the great motivators, so greet them with respect when you meet them. In my opinion, your grades are not a measure of what you have achieved. They have merely served as guideposts and indicators along the way, something like a speedometer while driving. Your transcript is just a faint trace of all your travels here at UBC. What matters is where you have been, what you have learned, how you have grown, and how you will apply these experiences in your future activities. It's all in the experiences that you have absorbed and that will resonate when you prompt them. Remember the UBC motto, to a mast. I think it tells us something like this, take it and make it. Your grades are behind you now. It's all about what you make from the experiences that you've had here. You should rejoice in the countless achievements, some large and some tiny, that have made, you've made during your studies at UBC every day. Recitals and concerts, term papers, final exams, these are the milestones that are most easily counted, and each one represents a major investment of your energy and individuality. But more important, many times every day you have been guided, sometimes cajoled, and maybe even pushed beyond what, beyond what you thought were your limits. Through these countless experiences, you have discovered new dimensions of your ability, your talent, and your commitment. I hope you will sometimes remember your mentors and contemplate why they have challenged you in the ways that they did. It may seem mysterious now, but it may be re revealed to you as you go. Your teachers have been clearing the paths on which you have been, tra been traveling and setting the goals that you have pursued. pursued. They have been seeking, on your account, the highest artistic values they can imagine. You have motivated them in their artistic beliefs, and every advance you have made has given them faith and insight. In many ways, we as your teachers have been learning with you, and I wish, wish each of you a future that includes the special rewards of teaching. With every graduation, teachers are reminded that it is an honor to nurture new generations of musicians. We are inspired when we witness your achievements and triumphs. Graduation Day reminds us that our mission, our collective mission, is much larger than our individual activities and that we all participate in a communal effort to build a rich and rewarding musical culture. We all realize sooner or later that we walk in the footsteps of giants, the great musicians of the past and the present, whose stature and achievement corresponds to their love and respect for the wonderful art of music. The giants guide us, but each of us in our own individual ways makes the future possible. 
Your work here has been inseparably intertwined with the efforts of many other people, your fellow students, your teachers, and also the staff. And I hope you will look back on your experiences here in the School of Music as a part of a collective enterprise, a community, community with countless facets and the energy of many individuals who will remain important to you. We are a community and all our activities gather to create an immense collective energy that we build together, that is inextinguishable and that you can always rely on as a source of conviction and inspiration. Take this flame with you and nurture it, remember it against the noise and distractions of everyday life. As you look forward to the future, be observant and open so that you can perceive the many hidden opportunities that life offers. Trust that by giving your best with self-honesty about what you really want and need, that in this way you will always be moving towards success. Remember to draw inspiration from others. That is the source of powers beyond those that you possess yourself. Look at your peers right now and later today and rejoice in their accomplishments. Celebrate the achievements of everyone around you because you have, a, you have played a role in their success just as they have played a role in yours. It is the talent and ability that we collectively manifest that is the source of our individual strength. I warmly invite all of you to attend the baccalaureate concert this evening. Although the concert cannot feature every graduating student, it certainly does celebrate every student, every student's effort and achievements. And those who are performing will be expressing energies larger than their own. When you recognize and rejoice in something wonderful in another person, you open the way for that quality or ability to become an active part of your own character. And remember that your talents and your accomplishments are vitally important, but your success in life depends above all on your character and your principles. Never fail in being honest with yourself, listen carefully to what others tell you, and be receptive and resonant like a musical instrument. Listen attentively to, the, to your own sense of truth and be passionate about music fundamentally as a means of sharing deep conviction and elevated joy with others and also with yourself. You are now citizens of long and deep musical cultures, music of today, music of the recent past and of the distant past, music from different countries and continents. In the years ahead, you will also serve in some fashion as a guardian of traditions you have studied and that have inspired you. Remember that we are not guardians of territory, but of energy and creative spirit. Musical traditions must never be static. Music must be constantly liberated and renewed. And your deeper role is to participate in the constant rejuvenation of the human spirit through the performance and creation of music old and new. Always remember to breathe real life into every piece of music you perform or teach. It will nourish your soul and excite your imagination and keep you in direct contact with the most powerful and important aspects of your humanity. Today marks a major turning point of achievement and completion in your life, but new things are always beginning. I hope all of you will achieve some of the dreams you hold today and even more of the dreams you will discover and conceive in the future. I congratulate all of you on your, your achievements here at UBC, and along with those who have assisted you, I wish you every success in the future. Thank you.